Oh, I dropped my thing. Good afternoon, each and every last one of you. I am the infamous Miss Rhoda Young Live. Where do you see my lip gloss? I just need a little. Well, right now I am on the corner of Little Creek Road and um Tidewater Drive. Uh, on yesterday, we had a whole bunch of kids to convert into the store. I think this is the one right here. And still out of this store. Allegedly. I think this is the one. Let me make sure before I say that. How you doing? How you doing? Is this the 7 Eleven that all the kids ran into yesterday? Okay, thank you. So, on yesterday, this is the 7 Eleven right here on um, Tower of the Drive, there in the bus came. And Little Creek Road, where all the kids came and ran into the 7 Eleven and robbed the store. What they did is what you call a bum rush, okay? My, my, my reason and purpose to be out here is not to chastise anybody. Or their kids. Oh, you're not on it, baby. Not at all. My 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 job is not to be out here to chastise the kids or anything. It's to warn them about the the situation they're about to put themselves in. Okay. Yes, I've been there, done it before. Uh, it was Prince Anne Road, Seven Eleven, Princess Anne Road, and um, Ballantyne, Bramerton, Ballantyne. We used to go in there. All the kids on the projects. They were surrounded by. Robert's Park, Bowling Park, the 7-Eleven, several there where the old KLC used to be at. We ran in those stores and 7-Eleven did exactly what y'all did. But the difference in between then and now, they're not playing with y'all. Okay, so I got to come out here. I got, I just came from the dentist with my son, with my daughter. I took the cat to the dentist. I said, now I got to talk to my kids in the 757. If you're out there right now, you got some kids anywhere around right now, tell, uh, tell them to tune in right quick. Tell them check out Rhoda Young Life because this is going to be important because ain't too many people going to come out here and express to y'all the importance of not to do what you just done. Okay? A lot of people is not going to take the time out to come out here and tell y'all why, why it is important that you do not do or participate in that type of behavior anymore. Okay? Okay, one more time. I'm going to give y'all a couple more minutes to get your kids right now together, okay? Gather your kids around this um, this video right here because this is very important, not just to our black community, but to all our kids out here in 757, okay? This thing what y'all did the other day, we used to do back in the days, y'all. We all go in there, steal all the bubble gum, the ice cream, and all that, right? Back then, you can get away with stuff like that, and it was funny. Right now, baby, I'm telling y'all right now, all 20 of those kids right now is in some serious they are in some serious um problems right now they are going to be charged real serious y'all i want y'all to look at how they put it on the news okay you need to go in there if you live in this area right here of little creek road tower to drive and you know your kids hang out with certain people ask your kids was they involved if you look at the China 10 news like I did, the wording that they're using is mob or sort. I mean, you know, similar, allegedly. So I can't quote it exactly because I was at Dentist's office. But they're seeing that our kids came in there and bum rushed and like did a real big robbery of this store. So what they're about to do to our children is nail them like, uh, like they was on robbers, okay? They're going to make this issue into something really, really big, okay? They go fry our kids and make example out of our kids, okay? I'm coming to you kids out there right now. If you was not involved in this situation that happened right here at the 7-Eleven, do not involve yourself in these type of behaviors that started up in the Hampton Roads area. They are gonna use our black kids, our low income kids to make example out of y'all, okay? They gonna, they gonna charge y'all 10 times harder than they would charge any other people, any other race, okay? Even though y'all thought it was funny, they, they saying to y'all, it's serious. This type of behavior is not going to be permitted in the 757. I want y'all to sit back. They said they got four people already, four kids already that's in custody. If they got four, I want you to multiply that by four because with four, that means they're going to have 12. Because each one they have in custody right now, it's going to snitch on one. So all of us going downtown, okay? All of us with kids that's out here right now are going downtown, okay? So you got to understand, oh, they only got four. Four times four is made 12. And once they get 12, 12 times 12 make what? Okay, and that's how they're gonna collect all your kids that was involved. Each and every last one of you, the parents are sitting on the couch and thinking your child was not involved, maybe your child was involved. You're gonna come out your pocket. 
during the holiday and spend money for your child. Your child may not be home for this Christmas. Your child may be in the detention home for Christmas, crying, begging mommy, why can't I come home? I was only playing, I didn't take anything. They took it, I just went in the store with them. They don't know that just being a part of that group, they're gonna be charged as if they stole things as well. They're gonna be found guilty as well, Associ um, guilty by association. You got to talk to the importance of this with our children that don't know yet, okay? They think it's all fun and games. It's not fun and games. It's their future that we got to let them know that they are destroying, okay? Your future is what you're destroying. I'm out here right now to let you know Lee 7 Eleven and the other stores alone. It's not a game, babies. They're going to use y'all as an example, okay? A lot, of, a lot of us this holidays, and I thank God I know where my child was last night and the other night. That's why I take her to somewhere positive like recreational centers. And I'm not saying that she can't get involved in things like this. I'm praying that she won't get in things like this, okay? A lot of y'all this Christmas is going to cry for Christmas. It's going to be a very sad Christmas here in the 757. A lot, you got 20 kids that's about to go to jail. 7-Eleven got the best camera system there is in the 757. I'm going to walk you into the store and show you how clear they seen their face on the news. It's going to be some sad, sad families this Christmas. Alright, it's going to be some sad, sad families this Christmas because a lot of our kids is going to be taken away from the home. I am the infinite Miss Rhoda Young Life and I'm bringing it to you first. Before Wavy News 10, Channel 3 and also Channel 13 News. It's a sad day here in Norfolk, Virginia, where our kids thought it was a joke to come into this 7-Eleven and strong on rob this 7-Eleven, over 20 kids. Now we're going to lose 20 kids for the holidays. How do you feel about that, sir? I was up here, I had to say it. Oh, did you see it? No, I ain't see it. You ain't see it, but it was sad, what is it? The, the thing about it is they're not understanding what they're going to do to them. I'm trying to get away from that light. They're not understanding that they're going to be used as an example to set an example. True. The things that we got away with, they can't get away with no okay. more. We did those things back in the days. Yes, we did. Try it now. It's the, it, we, they didn't even look for us back in the days. Mm -hmm. It's a whole new story now. No doubt. The word that they chose to use for our babies was like a mob of sort when they came here and stole from 7-Eleven. Once they start putting mob on yeah. it, it take it to a new level. New level. Gang related, as they say. Gang related, as they say. Listen to the words they choose to use. Mob. mob. <laughs> you got it? We get it, we get it, but our kids ain't getting it. No, they ain't. So it's going from petty theft to a mob robbery. Yeah. I am the infamous Miss Rhoda Young Life, where All you right. did hear and see here first before Wavy News 10, China 3, and also China 13 News. Thank you for your time. All right, All right see you next time. All right, see you. Okay, y'all, I'm going to take y'all inside the 7 Eleven for y'all can see the cameras, how they seen each and every last one of our kids enter this store. You're going to see how they seen each and every last one of our kids. Um, Le uh, left this store. All right, we're gonna walk into here. We they might ask us to leave. If they ask us to leave the premises, we will. But this is for our kids right here. Was you here last night? When yes. they, did you see what happened? I was right here. You was right here. I was right here doing the whole thing. <laughs> if you had something to say, okay, what did you see? Oh, uh, I was standing right here. About five young people came by. They looked at the Seven Eleven. They said, "Oh." The white lady in there by herself. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, about 15 more of them came around the corner. Around the corner was even more of them, but about 15 of them came around the corner. They walked in there in the 7-Eleven. Uh, they didn't know that the, there was two people still here in the back, the manager and the other lady. They came out, and they went in there, and they just took potato chips. They took everything they wanted. The manager, sister manager came out to close, lock the door. She couldn't lock the door because they bum rushed her against the window. Um, and I think they would have broke the door down. They weren't going to stand. There was too many of them. And uh, they rushed out and they said their little words. And they ran the street. They took all this stuff that they stole out of 7-Eleven and just busted open and threw it in the street out there. So they didn't, they didn't keep it. They busted open. They just tore it up on the street. You go out there, you still see it. I don't know if they did. They took potato chips in and sodas and, and 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 candy and stuff and just ran out the door. It was about 15 of them. I say 15, it was enough to be a, a crowded in there. And they just 
ran out the door. She tried to stop and then she just ran out the door. They ran across the street. And after that, around the corner was maybe like, I want to say it was a hundred. It's about a hundred, you feel I like? I swear, I'm, I'm sure. I looked around the corner and said, hey. it, was a, it was it was about a hundred kids. They came from Lido's, I believe. And then some of them went this way, some of them that way. Some of them tried to fight back, come back in. They cussed the lady out, told them they're going to hurt the lady and all this kind of stuff. And, and they, it was very, it was, anyway. So some of them went towards Walmart. I guess they did the destruction over there at Walmart. But they hung around for a little while until the police came. The police came about, about an hour late. An hour late? Man, they were late. They were late. Wow. And then one cop came. I think the other cop was around the corner, but it was just too many out here. Wow. It, it, I'm serious. It was, I, I haven't seen that since uh, not, uh, the college time down in, in, uh, in uh, uh, Virginia Beach. Then I gotta ask you a question. After seeing all that take place with all black youth, we might have been whites out there too. But it ain't really. No well, no, so I know what all black, all, all black, black all young. Black. Would you say the ages of fifteen to eighteen or yeah. Yeah. fifteen to eighteen? Oh, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say fifteen to nineteen because some of the nineteen old ones uh, felt like they should come in the store because they were nineteen. So they said, hey, being on 18, 19, 18, 19 years old, but they wasn't allowed to come in the store either. Cause they was, they all of them was in cahoots. Okay, can I ask you this question? Yeah. Seeing that many of our youth, our black youth kids, right. seeing what they did, self destruction to themselves, not to the store, right. but to themselves, turn they self down, yeah. turn down their family, turn down their mothers, the yeah. money that their mothers want to use for them for the holidays, for yeah. Christmas and stuff. Yeah. Then they got to give away to the lawyers and to the Commonwealth and to the um, bondsmen for the holidays. They steal it from their brothers and their sisters and their cousins. How did that make you feel as an older man watching this type of behavior? Let, 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 me, let me tell you something. I play a saxophone out here in the street. I see them come by, trying to buy black and mouth and all this right here. Our youth right here, I'm six, seven years old. Okay. So I'm way beyond the generation gap, they used to call it. But my I, my children out here, I talk to them. I give respect with them because I've been out here a long time. They give me my respect back because I don't play with them. And what I do is I talk to them, and you'd be surprised about our daily use when I talk to them. They'll listen to me because I know how to talk to them. Okay. But on the real, from my point of view, I feel like the parents and the grandparents, when I was growing up in my neighborhood, if a man knew who I was, he would straighten me. Right. I think that this generation right here, the older people my age, are scared of their own grandkids. Right. And, the, and then we got this society that has allowed us not to discipline them, just, just a modern day slavery. We can't discipline them. They are, they are, they are not educated. They're not learning nothing. They are, they are in la la land. They're very disrespectful. Most of them don't have uh, mama and a dad in the house. All they got is mamas, and the mamas. Uh, I mean, they do the best they can, but they, you need some men around them children. You really do because I can talk to them. I can see what they need to do. I mean, you know, nowadays they they showing the the draws after we told them that that's what kids people do in jail. They still doing it. They listen to rap music. That's a lie. They rent those cars. They've been perpetrated. Let me tell you something. In in in, in psychology, there was a doctor named Pleblo. He designed this thing called reflex conditioning. What he did was he got a dog hungry. He rung a bell. He got a dog hungry. He rung a bell. He got a dog hungry. He rung a bell. Eventually, the dog could just go through eating, but you ring a bell, he got associated with hunger with the bear. Act like he never ate. See, that's what you go to school for. You go to school for conditioning. These children are being conditioned. They're not being conditioned. What it is now, they are, they are off the chain, and they know they are. They don't want to listen to you. They don't know what to listen to. The boys are being girls, and the girls are being boys. You really want to hear me? Huh? They don't have no guidance, but I'm going to tell you something else, too. One time when I was growing up, although you got Muslims, you got Christians, all that, the church used to be a part of our community, best black communities. It's like it's like a crack generation. Okay. Like these crack babies. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm trooper. I'm you ain't trooper. And let me, can, I, can I pause you for one yeah, minute? Because yeah. sometimes I have to intervene. Go ahead. I have to intervene Go because... Ahead. Right, my own life, I have to intervene with the people that's up here saying 
You don't need to talk on camera. Talk about what? You can't talk about the truth. I'm talking about the see, truth. This is what's wrong with our kids. Because people like yourself up here say, oh, they know who you are. He see here playing music. He have not said he seen nobody. He said what he saw. Well, yeah. It's people like yourself. No it's people like yourself that get this reason why our, our society right now is out of control. Hush and don't tell. Hush and don't say that. I mean, you, but you yet is the same person that's going to laugh and talk about them when they get locked up. But we're here to try to prevent anything from further happening to our kids. But yet you pedophiles up here, sitting up here and trying to condemn somebody that's trying to say somebody. Shame on you. Really? And the devil should curse you every time he see you. Well, if you ain't got you. nothing good to say, there's no. nothing you should no, say. No, no, Don't try to beat nobody else down because they want to save our community. People like yourself. I'm sorry, sir. Um, I got some for him right now. It's people like yourself is why our community is out of control because you're out of control. To sit up here on this live feed where it's an educational feed that you don't get that often, okay? And try to petite someone and when you should be petiting your own fingertips for pushing that button and trying to be someone to discourage someone, to educate someone. Now I'm going to ask you politely to excuse yourself if you don't like what's being said up here. I'm going to give you free will to walk the hell off my life. I am the infinite Miss Road of Young Life. And we're going to share our story because our kids must hear the truth. Until they get the truth inside their head of what's really going on, what's really going to happen to them, they're going to continue to be what they are. Until we brainwash them that this is reality, this is not a playground, and you're going to serve some uh, some serious time. We're going to talk to them. And if you don't want us to talk to them, then let's use yourself. Is, Him or she. You know what it is? Okay, we're going it's, back. It's a new type of slave slavery. That's what it is. Yeah. Did that teach them nothing in school? Mamas are working. The daddies are doing what they got to do. They're not getting educated. The teachers don't care no more. You can't correct them. They got a bunch of smart. They got a lot of elements coming in there. Peer groups teaching them a bunch of stuff. They're dumb. They don't read. All they do is stay on the phone and internet. And they take the, go take the SAT test. They go to sleep. It's no, it's, it's no more parental guidance with our people no more, man. It's not. But the Bible say you take care of your own yard and then you can have them go out there. See what I'm saying? Right. I, I talk to my grandkids. I'm not scared of my grandkids. If, if you got a kid out here going out here busting stuff up, they somebody's children. But you scared of them? Right. If my, if my child comes on right now with a widescreen TV, I know he didn't buy it. Right. What I'm going to do? Look at it. Right. Yeah, like, yeah they, they scared of the kids out here. I'm right. not scared of you. What right. you going to do? Kill me? Right. The government tried to kill me when I went to Vietnam. They didn't kill me then. Right. I'm not afraid to talk to these boys, but I'm going to tell you something, though. When you sit down and you talk to young kids and you and you gain that respect from them, they give you respect back. I do Amen. it every day. Amen. And they Amen. give that respect back. But you don't have that respect. They're going to chop you down. Yes. i tell you something right now. You can have a kid say, yeah, I love you, I love you. But once these young kids see you do anything, if they see you buy it, use it, anything out of the norm, you get no more respect from them. Oh, wow. None. They're going to get it. They're going to dog you out. You know, and they got their own hatred. They come from a situation where the mamas had it. We don't know what it is. They talking about cigarette smoke right now. What happened to secondhand crack smoke? Go ahead. See you know what I'm saying? What happened to that? You know what I'm saying? And you talk to them, they turn their head up like, eee. I walked, I had a friend of mine, I saw the, I was going to the mall. I saw this young man, he was on the wrong side. Hey, boo boo. He was on the wrong side of the street. I said, man, a man's supposed to walk on the, uh, with his woman on the inside of the street. He looked at me like I said something wrong. You know what, I mean, if somebody come and hurt that girl, you, he's in the car, you on the inside, she's on the outside. He says, you girl, what you gonna do? Run behind the car? Right. He can't come to you. Right. So many things. They don't know. Nobody's right. teaching them. Nobody's right. talking to them. Right. But tell them what's up. And that's what I think we're failing with society and yeah. our younger well, generation. Society, we, they don't want I to think, talk to them. No, because I think, I, think, I think you're absolutely correct. I think that we need to start taking on the responsibility of saying, you know what? I'm wrong. Would you like to speak? For me, uh -huh. no, I believe it's busting their ass and getting their attention. Okay. <laughs> hey, Bobo. Merry Christmas. You say just bust their ass and get their attention. Hey, I like that. that. Thank you for that hey, turkey. My house, my rule. You yeah. enjoyed that turkey? A girl, we tore it up. Good. Yes, and they, they, they cook Thanksgiving dinner around the corner. Yeah. You know? And, uh, I mean, but but she's on the film, but it's all good. 
people come see me. Yeah. But I see them all the time, and I'm determined. Right. Uh, to to, to gain my days, respect on them, man. Thank you, thank you, ma'am, and man, thank I'm you what you believe in. You. I say, I say thank you for what you believe in. You say you believe in one more time. Well, that's the way I was raised. Bust their ass. Yeah, well, yes, but the, really it's my house, my rules. When you can pay my bills, you can tell me what to do in my house. People, please, God, don't put me on nothing. I got more mouth. <laughs> she says she got more mouth. She don't want to hurt. Go ahead. But see, I, like I said, I'm six, seven years old. Okay. And I've seen things. My grandma, I've seen things almost before civil rights. See, I, I was out there, and I, I why we couldn't do this, we couldn't do that. We went to school with old books, we had sit beside each other. We, I knew all that, right. Martin Luther King, and all that. But see, this 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 system that we in right now is bigger than than what you think. Okay. Because you go, hey, dude, you go back, man. When we was in school, you know, I mean, I can talk to you for a long time, but right. they have taken our racehood right away from us. Right. And they just let us, let these kids hear all that foolishness, man. Right. Hey, man. Here he is. What's up, man? What's up, man? Hey, man. Right. How you doing? Thank dog? you, man. How you doing, man? All right. Yeah. All right. All right. They're blessing him. Tonight. So when they ran out here, they didn't mess with your stuff. No, no, no. They they stood right there, did their thing, and left. Right. It's on film. It's on all that. All that everybody right. Was taping. It. Right. Okay. And this is what I have to say. Um. And like I told them, I've been there. I've done that. I gave the exact location of what store. I was in when I did the same thing they did on yesterday. It was on 7 Eleven on um, Princess Anne Road and Ballantyne Avenue. Oh, yeah. We all ran for Robert Spot and Bowling Park right in the store, stole all the bubble gum, the chills, the ice cream. That's what we did back then. Yeah. But what we're seeing now, society is more dangerous now, not with the people, with the law. They're going to take our kids and they're going to double chastise our kids and use our kids as an example. I said it before, myself and my oldest son, we went to school, or we went to court one day when he was in high school, Norville High School, to be exact. He took a little boy a dollar from lunch money and another man, young boy, was in court. And the young boy was a white man. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. He was white. My son was black. The white boy went on the school bus. This is a true story. This is a true story. You can go downtown and pull the damn records. The white boy was on the school bus, brandished a gun. His father was a off. His grandfather was an officer of the courts. He brandished a gun on the school bus and threatened the kids with it. And he got slapped on his hands, smiled that, and said, "Don't do it again." When my son came up there, cause he took the boy a dollar on um, lunch money at school. They fried my son and locked them up on the scene. My mother holler and scream. I yell. The people in the court yell. People jumped up, walked out the courtroom. The people from the court office upstairs was very upset that they did that. Because, you know, it, it was racist and it showed. Okay, the people upstairs in the court office taught me how to get my child from out of, um, out of detention. I had to um, file a charge against the judge and saying that he didn't have a fair... Um, trial and he and he discriminated against my child and let a white kid go to brandish a gun on the bus and t didn't get him no time no probation no nothing so i'm saying that to say this the things that we do as white people we're gonna be chastised 10 10, 10 20 30 40 times harder than the average white person if there was a bunch of white kids they might just say okay a lot of kids run into the store and stole some candy right now they're saying our kids came in here and did a gang assault into the store so i'm trying to tell them the importance of how serious it is when it comes to us and our color that it's important that we don't include ourselves and we need to talk to our babies that they don't get included into this situation okay i'm gonna tell you like i said before i'm gonna walk inside of 7-eleven and I want you parents out here to live in this area to worry about your kids. Because you don't know if your, kid, your child going to be home for Christmas. I'm going to show you what they got, okay? On news, okay? On news. And the reason I'm out here because I've seen this on Channel 10 News. And it's playing right now as we speak. The Infinite Smith Radio. On Channel 10 News right now. On Channel 10 News right now. They got this big camera where they show everybody kids. Face on Channel Okay, thank you, sir. On Channel 10 News, I'm walking out right now. Thank you. On Channel 10 News, they got this camera right here. They got over 20 different cameras. They shot every child that was in this store. On Channel 10 News, I'm telling you, these detectives out here. You good? You good? I want to listen to it a little bit. Lawson, turn out. These detectives out here are going to take each one of those screenshots they have. Each one of those screenshots, they got like 20 different angles they have. 
They're going to take each one of those screenshots and identify each one of your kids. Go back to China Teen News and look at it. Go back on China Teen News and look at it. It's two young guys in there right now that think it's funny. But I ain't got nothing to say to them because you know why? They already part of the system. You can't save the ones that want to be saved, but the ones that do want to be saved, allow them to be saved. Someone need to be locked the hell up. You know what I'm saying? Someone need to be locked the hell up. They're going to be where they need to be at. You can come gang signing and all this, out here, all that. Do it all. Do what you got to do. It's your life, not mass. I'm not worried about you. I'm, a, I'm worried about the ones that can be saved, that need to be saved. The ones that's reckless and don't need to be on the street. I hope you get locked up. That's my personal opinion. I don't, I'm 100 about mass. I keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm not trying to save all of them. I don't care about the one that took a picture with the gang sign. You one of the ones I want off the street. See, you one of the ones I want off the street. You threw all that because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not praying for you. I'm not crying for you. I'm gonna let your parents do that. I'm crying for the ones that's getting involved with you that should not be involved with you. Those are the ones I'm seeking. Okay, those are the ones I'm seeking that they don't fall, they don't fall, they don't fall, and uh, or follow your footsteps. I'm looking for the ones so that I, I say them are following your footsteps because your life is already done. Your life is already a joke. They already got your number written in the jail cell. They already know you're going to be there in the next week or two. They already know your name. They know your cellmate. They know about you. And you know about the inside of the jail. I'm not worried about you. It's too late for you. Your mind being made up when you was 12 years old. You a lost cause. A problem to society. I don't worry about the ones that for they won't follow behind your footsteps. And that you're going to encourage to be like you. Those the ones we're trying to save. I am the infamous Miss Road of Young Life. Well, it's very important to me that we save our youth out here. You know what I'm saying? It's very important that we save our youth out here. It takes a village to raise our kids. Okay? It takes a village to raise our kids. If we don't do it, who going to do it? It's going to be a sad day here on Christmas when half of those kids be locked up because the ones already locked up going to tell. I am the infamous Miss Rhoda Young Live where a lot of people going to be taking their Christmas money and Christmas saving trying to get their kids out of jail. And you heard it here first before Wavy News 10, Channel 3, and also Channel 13 News. Whether you like what we talk about or not, you have an option to log on and also to log off. But don't be the person that try to cheat someone else from learning what they need to learn. Be blessed out there, y'all. Keep your head up, know where your kids are, and the best thing you can get them for Christmas is a hug, love, respect, and time to listen and understand exactly what they are going through. Speak to your children. Talk to your kids. And we out. Go ahead. They already eliminated all. Go ahead. Then he kind of, then he bring this drug into town. Go ahead. And all us going to jail. Go ahead. So then he tell us, say, listen, if you want your children to have uh, uh, Medicare and have food on the table and the house, eat, get that man out your house to get it. So that would do. I mean, why would you leave? Here it is. You ain't making no money, especially this time. Right. So your, your wife, your child's sick. You'll go get welfare. You got to get a weapon place, you get a house somewhere. All the control was in that woman. What you do? You muss around, feeling bad for yourself, wind up in jail. I ain't pity party because I didn't do that. But that's what happened. So now you got all these boys being raised without a daddy. Right. If you got a dog and it's a male dog, you put that dog with some female dog, that dog will act like a girl. Right. Because he don't know no better. Right. Because there ain't no dad in there. And right. And we were brother. We had a whole neighborhood. I uh, ain't you that boy there, pop your side of the head. They don't have that no more. Right. So they growing up now with the peer group. They growing up with the show on TV. They growing up with everything. Then they ain't got no male figures in the house. Right. So they don't have them. We were growing up as a kid. And you get a black kid to get hurt, he'll say, Mama. Mm-hmm. You get a white kid to get hurt, he's going to say, Daddy. Check it out. Hey, Daddy. I, we've been conditioned since Civil War 
to patronize our mama as the head of the house. Nan got to a point, ain't no daddy in the house. You know what they do? They grow up like little girls. Little video hands. The girls are stronger than the guys. I'm tell you something else too. You put this down here too. If you notice, like I am out here all the time playing my sex, so right. I know them. The girls are stronger than the boys. Amen. Them girls, them new girls out here are the, are the dangerous ones. The boys are half salt. But them girls, they running it. They really going to school. They get educated. You got to always cross cycle, right? All they want to do is have a boy that don't work nowhere. I remember when I was 15 years, 8 months, I wanted a car. They riding bicycles at 20. They don't want to work. They bitterly smoking weed. But that girl is on top. One time all we could do is go home and eat. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. This new generation girls got it on top. And it was the thug girls. and thug girls running them boys. I watched it yesterday. The girls sit back and gather them in there. And when the boys went around and ran around, the girls still try to come out and talk trash. The girls are more masculine now than the boys. Got wow. so bad it is. You know? It got so bad now that you can be a girl with, with a bunch of uh, latex in your in your uh, rubber in there. You be more man to a man out here with born with one. Wow. You know what it is? That's wow, true. that's deep. That's deep. Can we hear you play this saxophone before we leave? Come on, girl. I got one for you. Give us. Give, give, give play us up for the kids. For, and, the, and the parents. They need to help the kids. Oh, I'm going to play uh, a color purple sister. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> the question and allow me to answer this baby now I want you to listen to me and listen to me well we gave you all the answers to the um to the problems you say oh we just complaining no we gave you all the answers to the problems the answer to the problems is we need to talk to our kids right. we need to we need to warn our kids the importance of how, um to stay out these streets and why not to involve themselves into self-destruction pk did you miss it or was your ears turned off are you the only human that can turn off your ears or are you yet that stubborn that you got a closed mind and you don't want to hear the truth but yet you want to complain about something are you part of i want to ask you a question pk are you part of the issue hey my love are you part of the issue pk are you one of the ones that allow the kids go out here and do what they want to and run rugged because of your um because I got the kids watching me right now because of your comments like this. PK, can I ask you another question? Why can't you be encouraging and help us to teach these kids not to do these things? Cause Ray Charles can't Ray Charles can't leave Stephen Wanda across the street. Wow. But both of them get hit by a car. Amen. Blind can't leave the blind. Ouch! That's deep. And we out, y'all. We out. We out. Hey, right, you said the blind can't lead the blind. Blind can't lead the blind. Wow. And they make you blind every day. Wow. And the time. thing about it is, what I find very precarious is, here we are, uh -huh. out here trying to talk to our babies and save our babies, but yet you got grown folks up here saying negative stuff. What am I saying? I mean, I, 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 tell they, me, tell they don't, say, cross, don't cross the street. Yeah. The car will hit you. Wow. Great, y'all. <laughs> and we out. Great,
He said, don't cross the street. A car may hit you, Ray Charles. We out.